Have you ever wondered where the average return numbers of the stock market actually come from? Often it's from something called a rolling 30 year average, and there's a massive statistical error in how it's calculated that could cause some big problems for people. Here's an analogy that helps shine some light on the problem. Imagine you have 30 people in a room and you get their average weight. Then to get a new data point, you swap out just one person and recalculate the average. It's pretty easy to see that the average weight isn't going to change too much. That's because you shared 29 out of the 30 data points from the previous measurement of the average weight. Well, this is exactly what financial models are doing. The 30 year period from 1931 to 1960, for example, isn't a new piece of data from the 1930 to 1959 period. It shares 29 of the same years. It's a problem called autocorrelation and it means the data isn't independent. It's almost identical. Here's a little reality check. In the last 95 years of S&P market history, we don't have actually a lot of data points to pull from to build models. In fact, we only have three 30-year data points from the last 95 years. To get the data that we think we're getting from 30-year rolling averages, we would need 30 30-year periods or 900 years of market history, and we simply don't have anything close to that. The foundation of average returns is simply not as solid as we're led to believe. To learn more about this, check out episode 16 at stackedlifepodcast.com slash 16.